Hello everybody, this is JLS1114. Today I would like to talk about the White King mod. A lot of you out there, I don't think, seem to know what it is. And if you, and if you do, a lot of people are ignoring it. Which is why I'm making this video. Um, first off, the White King mod was brought about because we wanted a law that would enforce the safety of blind and visually impaired people being able to travel safely from place to place especially busy streets and crowds we have that right too so it is now into law that actually has been for many, many, many years. I'm not sure on the date on that, but I know it has been for quite a while. Um, so, anyway, though, that a vehicle has to stop for a cane. I can't emphasize enough. For a white cane. failure to stop if anything happens to that blind or visually impaired person and that car hits them they are automatically this is in the, in the um, stated <clears throat> into the law that they are automatically responsible with that person's injuries. It's in the law. So, yeah, you hit us because you didn't stop, you're gonna be in some big trouble. It is a law. It's not gonna just happen because we're suing you and we're hurt and we're just getting money. You best believe we will get it, we will win because it is a law. So, you might want to think about that next time you're in the car and you decide that you don't want to stop for us. And some of you are probably thinking, well, come on, why wouldn't I stop? You'll be surprised. You would be surprised. Um, me and my a cousin of mine wanted to actually make a program for our college because we were having lots of issues with people not stopping for us. Um, we have both of us experience had many experiences of almost getting hit because we had because nobody was obeying the white cane law. And we were quite fed up. And we were gonna do a program, we were gonna set it up and um, talk about it. Maybe we can out pay documented papers the way came law that we're not making this shit up excuse me for my language sorry but um it's just it's an aggravating thing it really is because we like like the law also states we have every right as anybody else to travel and to travel safe safely and if we're still with this law in, into effect having this issue gonna take but this is the reason why the law came anyway attach this video um, in the description area I am going to have a link for you to read it for yourselves that this is real if you never have heard of it a matter of fact October 15th of every year there is something called white cane day white cane safety day this is to promote the safety and independence of blind and visually impaired people alike. And on this day, I know a lot of organizations 
or anything having to do with working with the blind or visually impaired do um, seem to concentrate about the white cane law. Um, they kind of go hand in hand. So, just, just an aggravating thing. It has been an aggravating thing for us because, like I said, we have the right as anybody else and we should be able to feel safe. And people are not abide, abiding by this law, but I, um, it's a problem. It's not fair to us. But, like I said, I think a lot of people out there are not aware of this. Which is why, um, for my safety and, and people alike like me, um, that I wanted to make this clear. Some, I think, just don't care, like I said, and want to do whatever. And there are a lot of people I really, I really do feel nobody has heard of this before. To me, it should be something taught in driver's ed, and, uh, I have people... I have asked people, have you ever heard of the way it came out? Like, no. I said, you didn't learn that in driver's head? They're like, no. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think I had one or two people told me, oh yeah, this sounds familiar. So it might have came up in driver's head some people, but it doesn't tend to as much, and it needs to be. I think um, definitely should be part of the guaranteed curriculum to obtain your driver's license that somebody should know it's that important um, no. oh one more thing this also covers people with seeing eye dogs it, it says that in the law as well not just a cane the same rule applies when a person with seeing eye dog guide dogs so be aware of that as well Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and if you have any more questions, feel free to ask and comment. Um, I am wondering, apply back to me, tell me how many of you, I'm very curious of this now, how many of you have actually heard of this law before, before you watch this video? How many of you have, pretty curious about this. I really want to see um, just how aware, I don't know, maybe over the years, more and more, maybe more people knew about it than what I know about. I don't know. So, um, you know, get back to me on that. And anything else you want to say? Comments, private mail, video comments, any of those will do. Anything you want to say? Any questions? Feel free. Remember, I rather you ask a question than just assume. Um, if I said this in a previous video, actually, the previous two, last two I made. Um, if you have not seen those on my other videos, please take a look. Just uh, put JLS1114 in the search section and go put all my videos. And please check out the video I did before this one, especially more about the cane and um, other aspects of it, um, which is called the power of the cane. So, um, look forward to hearing from you all, and thank you again. Have a nice day.